Hi guys, how are you? You have made it through a whole nother week of e-learning, so well done. Good job to all of you. I have to tell you, I sure miss you, and I know that they have just said that we have to extend our learning at home for a little bit longer, which makes my heart sad. And I think it's okay to be sad, but I also think that what a gift it is to be spending all this time at home with our families and even better I get to spend time with you this way even though I don't get to see your um, cute faces in person at least I get to talk to you through your computer screen so I'll take it that being said we're still going to continue learning all through the month of April if you'll stick with me I will um, keep doing lessons and we're going to try to do as much as we can, I probably can't do all of this, the um, all of the content I would have, all the lessons I would have um, been able to. But we're still going to do insects and Easter and all those fun things too. So um, hang in there, and we can get through this together. I do have something exciting to share. Guess what? I got a picture. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> Let's turn it this way. Who is that? Oh, we lost him. Oh no! <laughs> well, every time I move my camera, it's going to move him. This is Ethan. And if you look close, I can't get it right. I'm sorry, Ethan. We'll just have to look at you like this. Um, if you look, he has lost two teeth. Yay! Zeke and um, Ethan. So here's Ethan's tooth. And he has two tally marks. And then if you remember, Zeke lost his tooth. Ta-da! So you both have teeth. Uh, it is the it is the time of the year where teeth might be falling out. If you haven't lost your tooth, that's okay. It's probably, you might have a wiggly one or um, yours might take a little longer to fall off or fall out. But that's okay because when it does, it's very exciting. So Congratulations to Ethan. Also, if you can look in the picture, maybe if I hold it like that, we can see him. He is doing some of the, um, one of the math activities that I sent. And let me see if I can pull up another picture. He also sent me a picture of his, or his mom sent all these awesome pictures. So big star for Ethan. He has done a great job with his activities. But I wanted to show you his dinosaur. He drew a great dinosaur. Let's see if I can pull it up. And it will go in our dinosaur research book when, there it is. Look at that dinosaur. Can you see it? <laughs> My phone is being tricky. It is going to turn it. But if you look, it has, let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. What I love about it, darn, well, Ethan, what I love about your dinosaur, I wish everybody could see it, is that he has a grumpy face. And I thought, you know what? That T-Rex might be grumpy, or maybe he's angry or vicious. I love his face. So well done, Ethan. If you guys want to show me your work, you can do that. Obviously, my phone is being tricky. Next time, I'll try it on my tablet, and maybe it won't spin around like that. <laughs> well, today's lesson, we're going to go back and do a little bit of work on our sight words. Um, I feel like that is one of the most important things that we work on together. Um, Today, I don't have a single thing for mom to print out for whoever is doing the printing in your house, or maybe it's you. Not a single thing to have to print out, and that way you're not spending um, so much money on ink and paper and things. So, attached to the bottom of this email are a couple of craft ideas, and most of it I think you might have around the house. So, one is a really cool dinosaur um, finger painting activity with like plastic wrap. That might, that might be fun and then when you do it, if you get a chance to do it, you can take a picture and upload it and show me and then I'll show everyone else. And then there are some f like fizzing dinosaur eggs. They almost, they remind me of bath bombs that you can make at home. Um, I have that link attached as well. So those might be fun things. One, the science would be the 
the dinosaur fizzing eggs and then a craft. But back to our sight words. Let's play a game. I sent out, I think in lesson two, all of the sight words that um, I would really love for you to be working on. So hopefully you cut those apart and um, have them as flashcards. And remember I said I'm not really big on just looking at the words um, like a flashcard, but I thought today we'd play a game. So here's what I want you to do. We've already worked on that full um, first set, so we don't need to go back and do that. But the second set has words like am and the and see. Grab those. I want to see there's five of them. And what you're going to do is you're going to spread them out face down on your, the table in front of you. Then you're going to choose one of those sight word cards and you're going to read it and then you're going to turn that into a sentence. How does that sound? And you can write that sentence on scratch paper, you can borrow um, big brother or sister's lined paper, doesn't matter. You can write it on anything. So I have already done three. I've picked up three different sight word cars and here are the ones that I got. I um, chose the word am. And of course, we love this word. We know this word, huh? This is a non, so you can't send this one out. The and s e. So I'm going to turn those into a sentence. You may choose to do two words in one sentence, or you could do um, each word in a separate sentence. It doesn't matter to me. However, however you guys are feeling, but I'm going to start with the word the, and I'm going to say my class is the hmm, the. How do you spell that? I can't sound it out because if I did, I'd say the the hmm the uh. I'd probably say T H A. That's not it. It's T H E the best. All right, take a look at my sentence. My class is the best. Do you see what I did between each word? Yes, finger spaces. Now, if your sentence doesn't look like my sentence, that's just fine. You're going to use your kid's spelling, and don't forget to put a period at the end, and then you can draw pictures. I'm going to leave it at that. Don't forget, if you could do three different words with three different sentences, that would be awesome, and then you're really practicing those sight words. How is reading going, everybody? Are you getting a chance to do some reading at home, maybe with our old books? I will maybe attach a book, um, maybe next week we'll do a book. I know for sure um, we'll do a couple Easter books, but I have sent home the um, Bible story about, gosh, who was our newest Bible? Jos uh, Joshua, yes! I sent home a mini book for him and I sent um, a spring one too that you could be reading or the ones that we did in class a while ago. But I think I will attach one more book um, next week too so that you can be reading that. Let's hop ahead and finish our lesson with the story. Yes! Our story. I just really enjoy um, the Magic Treehouse books. I think they're great. I think they're a great use of imagination and they tie it to things like science and nature. All right, what have we left off? I remember we were talking about gold in the grass. And my, I don't think I made a prediction, but I was wondering if it was real gold or what that could be. So, chapter five, gold in the grass. Go, go, said Jack. He threw his notebook into his pack. He pushed Annie toward the rope ladder. Bye, Henry, she said. Go, said Jack. He gave Annie a big push. Quit it, she said. But she started up the ladder. Jack scrambled after her. Oh, that's right. Do you remember? They saw a big dinosaur up on the hill and are scrambling. Yes, a huge dinosaur. And they're scrambling back up the treehouse. They tumbled into the, into the treehouse. They were panting as they looked out the window at the dinosaur. He was standing on the hilltop, eating flowers off a tree. Oh, man, whispered Jack. We are in a long time ago. 
The dinosaur looked like a huge rhinoceros. Oh, I think I know what dinosaur that is. I know of one that has a horn here and some horns up here. Do you remember that guy? Triceratops. The dinosaur looked like a huge rhinoceros, only he had three horns instead of one. It is a triceratops. Two long ones above his eyes and one on his nose. He had a big shield-like thing behind his head. Triceratops, said Jack. Does he eat people, whispered Annie. I'll look it up. Jack grabbed the dinosaur book. He flipped through the pages. There, he said, he pointed to a picture of a triceratops. He read the caption. The Triceratops lived in the late Cretaceous period. Can you see that? The plant-eating dinosaur weighed over two or 12,000 pounds. Jack slammed the book shut. Just plants, no, eat meat. Let's go see him, said Annie. Okay, so he we know he is a um, herb, uh, herbivorous, herbivorous, so he does not eat people. He does not eat me, he eats plants, so they're going to go see him. Are you nuts, said Jack. Don't you want to take notes about him, said Annie? We're probably the first people in the whole world to ever see a real life triceratops. Jack sighed. She was right. Let's go, he said. He shoved the dinosaur book into his pack. He slung it over his shoulder and started down the ladder. On the way down, Jack stopped. He called up to Annie. Just promise you won't pet him? Ah, oh, promise. I promise. Promise you won't kiss him? I promise. Promise you won't talk to him? Oh, I promise. Promise you won't? Just go, said Annie. Jack went, and Annie followed. When they stepped off the ladder, the Tronodon gave them a, a kind look. Annie blew a kiss at him. Be back soon, Henry. Remember, she named him Henry. She said cheerfully, Shush, shush, said Jack, and he led the way through the ferns, slowly and carefully. When he reached the bottom of the hill, he kneeled behind a flat bush. Annie knelt behind him, behind him and started to speak. Shh! Jack put his finger to his lips. Annie made a face. Jack peeked out at the triceratops. The dinosaur was incredibly big, bigger than a truck. He was eating the flowers off a magnolia tree. Jack slipped his notebook out of his pocket and he wrote, look, that's Jack's handwriting, eats flowers. Annie nudged him. Jack ignored her. He studied the triceratops again and he wrote, eats slowly. Annie nudged him hard. Jack looked at her. Annie pointed to herself. She walked her fingers through the air. She pointed to the dinosaur. She smiled. She was teasing. She waved at Jack. Jack started to grab her. She laughed and jumped away. She fell into the grass in the full view of the Triceratops. Get back, whispered Jack. Too late. The, di the big dinosaur had spotted Annie. He gazed down at her from the hilltop. Half of a magnolia flower was sticking out of his mouth. Oops, said Annie. Get back, Jack shouted at her. He looks nice, Jack. Nice? Watch out for his horns, Annie. No, he's nice, Jack. Nice? But that's right, the triceratops just gazed calmly down at Annie. Then he turned and loped away, so he ran away down the side of the hill. Bye, said Annie. She turned back to see Jack. See? Jack grunted, but he wrote in his notebook, Nice. I think they found out that the Triceratops was nice. Oh, look at that picture. That was worth waiting for. I see Annie looking after the Triceratops, and I see Jack, and I do see something in his hand. Hmm. Come on, let's look around some more, said Annie. As Jack started as Jack started after Annie, he saw something, something glittering in the tall grass. He reached out and picked it up. A medallion, a gold medallion. What's a medallion? Do you know what that is? I think it probably looks a lot like a gold coin, um, like a big cold gold coin. A 
letter was engraved in the medallion. A fancy M. Oh, man, someone came here before us, Jack said softly. I don't think a dinosaur would need a gold medallion with an M on it. So I bet they're right. I wonder if someone else had been to that exact spot and left behind that gold medallion. I don't know. Chapter 6, Dinosaur Valley will be next. And we actually are just about halfway through. And then we can choose to read another story together. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I know it's kind of snowy and cold out now, but I think this weekend's going to be beautiful. You can get outside and see more signs of spring. And I will talk to you again on Monday. Bye, guys.